I'm briefly going to discuss a few ways in which all parents are getting hundreds of thousands of dollars in welfare or is stolen from childless people and gays. Now I'm married. We are childless by choice due to human overpopulation and the half million kids and teenagers in foster care waiting to be adopted. So there's no need to spread our special DNA. <laughs> um, so while we do it by choice due to one human overpopulation because there's 8 billion people destroying um, the lands, sea, and air, and all other species, um, we get to pay tons of welfare. First is the child tax credit. They get tens of thousand dollars a year, um, over a lifetime. Um, per kid, they can claim, um, I believe it was t over $2,000 in free handouts, which I know people who go on vacations with that money or buy big screen TVs. Meanwhile, we're paying more for taxes. Um, the second one, aside from child tax credit, is the biggest one, the socialist public school system. Now, while we can go without health care, we can pay for your kids' public schools. Um, even renters are paying because it's passed down from the landlord. But we own two houses. We own one in New York City and one in Texas. And we are paying tens of thousands of dollars in public school taxes um, for schools that we will never use. Um, over a lifetime or over 18 years, you are the beneficiary of tens of thousands of dollars in this regard, if not hundreds of thousands of dollars if you have multiple kids, um, while we foot the bill. And most politicians and childless people take it for granted or ignore us because we're the minority, so we're screwed and stolen from, basically. The next one is health care. So while we can go without health care but get to pay for the socialist public schools, if we do have health care, we are still subsidizing other people's children. Now, if you're a couple and you have one person on your plan, that counts as a family. So usually two people count as a family. Three people pay the same price. Four people same, pay the same price. You can have ten kids. You pay the same price as two people because it's considered a family in most cases. So we're subsidizing yours. Um, even if you only have one kid, you're still subsidizing people with two, three, four kids. So, childless people are footing your bill of your health care costs regardless. Next is like paternity leave. Um, they get months off paid leave, but for many employers, paid paternity leave. Next one is, we already talked about public schools, which is one of the biggest that constitutes um, hundreds of thousands of dollars a year probably alone, um, is the after school programs. And some people get free lunches which adds up to quite a bit, when I can't afford to eat lunch always and I have to bring pasta leftovers um, or skip lunch at my job. Unfortunately, because I'm paying for other people's, trying to live within my means, but we have to fund other people's um, bills when they can have much more than us as well. Um, the final one is the daycare write-offs and many other incentives of being a parent. There's hundreds um, that we overlook. I'm probably overlooking dozens as well. So why not make birth control free? No one should be forced to be a parent when they don't want to. There's half a million kids and teenagers in the foster care system currently. Um, and there's 8 billion people deforesting, um, overfishing with huge trawler nets. Now we have sick fish farms uh, as factory farms. We have endangered species. We have we're going to be like China with smog-filled highways. Um, we have scarce resources. Many people are going hungry or face food insecurity. So why are we promoting, and our politicians promoting breeding? Makes no sense. Um, so despite also paying the most in taxes, gays and childless people also are the last to get any welfare or safety net benefits. Yes, we pay the most in taxes, and we are last to get any benefits. Uh, we do usually do not qualify for welfare, food stamps, obviously WIC, um, 
and subsidized housing um, that always goes first to people with children. Unfortunately, we are thrown in the gutter and are most vulnerable to going homeless because childless people could also be a single person with only one income. So they're most vulnerable. They probably make less because it's only one income and they're most likely to go homeless if they lose their job because they don't have someone to fall back upon always. So we need to stop the, the discrimination of gays and childless people. America discriminates and steals from childless people and gives it to all parents. Even if they have much more than us, they can be driving around nice cars and be making twice as much as us, we are still paying them welf welfare. So turn down your child tax credits, especially if you are a conservative Republican who denied us universal health care, and please go to private schools. Thank you, and stand up for childless people, sign petition, adopt. There's 450,000 kids and teenagers in foster care system right now, so don't overpopulate. Thank you.